guys able to see my screen yes yes raj yeah okay so today we'll discuss about unix today we'll discuss about unix okay anybody what is unix please it's operating system okay operating system yeah okay then what is linux linux is also yeah. okay what is the difference between linux and unix what is the difference between linux and unix both are same like windows 10 windows 8 windows 7 like we have a different club linux is one version of uh, unix mm -hmm. okay yeah any other any other please what is the difference between linux and unix up to some extent linux is a freeware and unix is uh, not uh, available at free of cost mm -hmm. okay next linux is older version linux is older version than unix no unix is older than uh, linux yeah correct okay One second, guys. One second, please. Yeah, cool. Give me a second, guys. Yeah, yes, okay. <clears throat> Let me open that. Yeah, so Unix is Unix is an operating system. Unix is an operating system. Linux is also an operating system. Okay, so Unix is a older version. Linux is a advanced version of Unix. Linux is advanced version of Unix. So like Windows, like Windows, Unix is operating system. Why Windows is popular than Unix? Why Windows is popular? Than more secure. Is it Why? Why Windows is more secure, more popular than Unix? User, user interface is very convenient. Windows has it's a graphical user Windows interface. Windows user friendly. Graphical user interface, GUI based. Windows is a GUI based operating system. Comparing to Unix and Linux, okay. Windows is having more user interface. That means you can you can drag and drop. You can see the you can see the graphical user interface. Okay, that's why. User friendly also. Yeah, it's yes. Windows is user friendly than Unix. Okay, yes. so when I come to Windows, okay, so Windows also having two types actually. Windows is having graphical user interface and command line interface also. Okay, so if you see this is what we are using is Windows 11 is a graphical user interface. Okay, whatever whatever you are seeing in the command prompt is here. No, if you if you search for command, then a command prompt will come right. If you search for a command, a command prompt will come. Yes or no? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Yeah. So yes, this sir. is called this is this is called command line interface. Okay. So this is called DOS, Disk Operating System. Okay. So when you go to the computer shop, okay. So when you purchase a laptop, they will tell you, do you want DOS version or Windows version? Correct. Yes. Will you? Did you remember? Yes or no, please. Yes, yes sir. Guys? Yes, sir. Yeah. So DOS version and Windows version. Okay. So DOS version means only whatever you do in the graphical user interface, you can do that by using commands. Okay, suppose I want to see the folders, DIR. You see, 
contacts, desktop documents, downloads, everything is there. Okay. Suppose I want to enter CD. Okay. CD desktop. Okay. If I enter, then it will enter into the desktop. Then if I give DIR, okay, then it will give the, see, like this, it will give all the files. If you want to open a file, a.csv, I want to type, type a.csv. Open it. The file is open. Yes, please. Yes, guys. So this is called what? Whatever you want to do, you need to write a command. That is called command line interface. Now in the graphical user interface, if I want to open a folder, double click the folder. That's it, right? If I want to open the folder, double click the folder. If I want to open this folder, double click the folder. If I want to open a file, double click the file. Correct? Yes, please. Correct, please. guys? Yeah. yeah. So Windows is graphical user. Windows is mostly people will be using Windows as graphical user interface. But few people for few things for pinging the TNS names or by seeing why if you want to see the host names for all, if you want to see the host name, I can give host name here. Then it will show the it will show what my computer name. Okay. The best way to see the computer name is open the open your command prompt and write host name. Then it will show your computer name. Okay. Like that. Okay. So like that. Okay. You can use command line interface. Okay. Now actually Windows is developed in which Windows is developed in which language? Which computer language? C++. Which one? C. Yes. Visual C++. Not C actually, not C language. Windows is not developed in C language. Okay. Not C language, C yes. So Don't Windows it. is Windows is developed in the basic C. If you want to see the Windows versions, what are the Windows versions you know? What are the Windows versions? 10, 11, Windows XP, Windows Millennium. Windows XP, please. Windows These are the Windows versions. These are the Windows versions. From Windows 1, they have started. They have started in 1985. They have started in 1985 Windows 1.1. .1. Then I have seen the Windows from 2005 when I was in when I was doing in when I was doing BSc computers. Okay, so I have seen Windows XP before that when I was in plus two. That means intermediate. I have seen Windows 98, Windows 2000. Okay, in 2005 also till 2006 7 they were using Windows 98, Windows 95. Yes, please see like this. Windows 95 was like this. Okay. Windows 98. Okay. Windows 98 second version. Windows server. There is one, one, one Windows server also there somewhere. Okay. So I have worked on Windows 2000. Windows NT. This is the one. Windows 2000 I have worked on. Okay. Windows me I have seen actually. Windows me I have seen. Windows XP. Then when I, when we were doing my BSC computers. Okay. That time it was late. It was released. Windows XP was released in 2004. Not 2004. 2000. Three, I guess. Okay, I have done my BSC computer from 2002 to 2005. So I have seen Windows XP in 2002, I guess. So 2001 it was released. Then 2002 it was it, it became popular. Then Windows Vista. We were playing. We were replacing. When I was doing my MCA, okay, we were replacing this Windows XP with Windows Vista. Then seven has come. Eight. Then 10, 11. Current version is 11. Correct, please. Yeah. You do remember all these things? Yes, guys. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Raj. Yes. Okay. So this is developed. First Windows will be developed in Visual Basic. The basic uh, they have done is with Visual Basic first. There was a language called Visual Basic that was then later after that in 2008 or 2006 they have developed VB.NET, CS.NET, ASP.NET, .NET technologies they have developed and maybe maybe now they were using so many technologies are there. Python is there. There are many are there. They might they might be using anything. Okay. So. When I was in when I was in MCA 2007, I was MCA 2008 passed out. Okay, so 2007 and 88, when we go to Amirpet, there were there were only two technologies were there, .NET or Java. Either you can choose .NET or you can choose Java. Okay, like that it was. That was it was a hot tools at the time. Okay, nowadays nobody are using .NET. Very less people are using .NET, but Java they are using. Correct guys, you do remember about the VB.NET if you are if you are at that. Uh, 2008 or 2009 passed out. You could remember about this. I still remember in 2008. Okay, when I was in final year of MCA, I went to Naresh Technologies. I joined in VB.NET demo course, demo class. I went there. Okay, I did not like because there are uh, almost 200 people who are there in the single hall. Okay, speaker will be. Uh, they will be speaking in the mic. 
okay and the projector will be there i don't understand anything okay i did not join at all okay so later i came to bangalore 2008 uh, 2009 so 2008 uh, i completed in june june 2008 to december 2000 uh, january 2009 i worked as a lab assistant in engineering college in tumkur near to bangalore okay later 2009 it was a recession okay i came out from the college i did not like to work in college because i completed my mca my dream was to do a job, software job but due to my my uncle he suggested why you want to waste time you can go to there and you can join in college i went and joined college okay i didn't lot like then i resigned there in 6 months one semester i worked there for engineering college students i wanted to help them in the in the lab like uh, if they they are running the c programs i want to help them okay so later in 2009 it was full recession okay so we were unable to get uh, this one what software job or not only software jobs no jobs at all at that time okay i still remember okay when i when i went to i was i came to bangalore from tumkur in 2009 january okay so we were applying for the jobs we were applying for bpo jobs at least at that time bpo jobs also not there that much recession it was i still remember there was one one uh, in also there was one bpo called ages ai ges something okay so this is bpo i went to bpo uh, for interview i selected there they told that they will give 5000 rupees per month they told that they will give 5000 rupees per month including saturdays we need to work 10 hours per day 9 to 10 hours per day then i rejected that okay i don't want to go to the bpo then i was going to home tuitions okay that time what i was doing for 6 months because i want to survive myself i don't want to ask money with my dad when i when i completed my mca okay so in bangalore i was going to home tuition home tuitions per day i was telling almost 10 home, home tuitions i guess still i remember i took my 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 uh, my relatives bike okay and i was telling 10 home tuitions per day morning if morning i was starting at 7 to 7 to 8 one home tuition then 9 to 10 then 11 to 12 like that i was telling till 7 o'clock i was telling the home tuitions for c language i was telling i was telling math mathematics for seventh standard students i was telling engineering mathematics all those things i was telling at the time later later after 6 months if i if i if i doing the uh, home tuitions it will be continue okay the at the time i was getting good 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 money because for at least one home tuition they were, they are they are giving 4000 Three thousand to four thousand rupees for one hour. If I go to one home tuition per month, they were giving three thousand to four thousand. Okay, so three thousand to four. First, I started with one home tuition. I don't know whether I succeeded or not in the home tuition. So I I was staying in where I was staying in Vijayanagar. The home tuition was in Banner Gata Road. Okay, at least one hour it was taking by bus. If I go from Vijayanagar to Banner Gata Road, at least twenty twenty five kilometers were there. I do, I was not having bike at the time, okay. So I was going by bus, okay. I from bus stop I need to walk to their home for at least fifteen minutes, okay. So I walk fifteen minutes there. I was taking one hour for seventh seventh standard ICSC IS uh, CBSE syllabus mathematics, okay. For a for a guy, I was taking. Then coming back with walk fifteen minutes. So struggle was there, okay, to get the job. I struggled a lot. okay then so i have done but then i took then they was they liked me the pins they liked my teaching and they in the same apartment i was i was doing for other other per, uh, other guy also okay he also joined like that i was i was doing at least 10 home tuitions 10 hours per day 8 to 8 to 10 home tuitions i was doing different different locations in bangalore okay so later after 6 months i applied for what lecturer jobs because no software jobs at all nobody are taking the software jobs i still remember okay i went to each and every college and i given the resume i selected one area and i went to there are 10 colleges in that area i went to each and every engineering college and also bca college bsc college i went their degree college i done my mca okay so this is my resume you can take me as a lecturer okay then i was seeing the classifieds okay in the paper then uh, in the classifieds i was i was taking all the 15 colleges they have put okay what uh, lecturers required for mca candidates that means bca candidates 
MCA was the uh, what for MCA qualification. I can teach BCA people. So I still remember in Jayanagar fourth block. I went to one courier shop. Okay, at a time I applied for fifteen colleges. At a time I sent through courier fifteen covers. I took fifteen resumes. I put in different different covers. Written the addresses. Okay, and I sent fifteen couriers. Okay, fifteen covers I sent in in Bangalore colleges. Then I got the call for four colleges. There I selected for two colleges. Okay, so then I selected one college. So morning in in Saint Aloysius Degree College, still it is there. I was working from two thousand seven June to now seven to two thousand seven. Two thousand nine June to two thousand ten June. Two thousand nine June to two thousand ten June. One year I worked in Saint Aloysius Degree College. Alsur Bangalore, okay. From morning nine o'clock eight thirty to afternoon two thirty. Then I was going to room. I was sleeping for one hour. Then start the home tuition for three thirty or four o'clock. Four to nine o'clock home tuitions again. So like that I struggled. Later in two thousand in two thousand ten, two thousand nine June to two thousand ten June I worked in college. I voluntarily I resigned there. Because there was hundred percent results were there for BCA. Okay, I was the head of the department for BCA at the time. Okay, so I resigned there. They they told us to be there, but my goal was not a teacher at the time. I want to do a software job. So later, what I have done, I have uh, came out of the college. I struggled for next one year. Next one year, I struggled from two thousand ten to two thousand ten ten uh, June to. 2011 April, okay. I was searching. I was searching software jobs in 2011. I got in April HCL. I got a fresh. This was my story. If you want to see, so simply it did not come anything for me because I struggled a lot. Okay, same thing. Okay, when you struggle, you will get for sure. Okay, at the time you you don't know. At the time when 2009, so many my relatives were there were saying you completed your MC, you know. Why can't you go to college and work as a teacher? Okay, so I went to college in Gauri Vidhur also uh, in a school. Okay, as a computer lab assistant, computer lab uh, teacher for ninth and tenth standard students. I went there. I selected there. They told me to give ten ten thousand per month in Gauri Vidhur, but I rejected because if I go for a teacher, then lifelong I will be a teacher only. Okay, so I took the decisions like that at the time. That's why. I completed 11 years into software industry. If I take a decision that okay, because I don't have many money, okay, now uh, my uncle told that join in the teacher as a teacher. I selected also if I if I got stuck in there, maybe I could have worked as a teacher now. Okay, so struggle will be there. Okay, if we have struggle, then it will it will never it will for sure it will succeed. There is no failure for that. Okay, so just I'm I'm what is my experience? I was just. Uh, uh sharing with you that's it okay so so unix unix is what uh sorry windows was developed in these things maybe i am not sure exactly but for sure basics of windows that means windows 8 or not windows 8 windows 4 5 6 maybe they have developed in visual basic okay so after that so windows is done right yeah next unix unix is written in c language Complete Unix operating system is written in C language. Okay, that's why C is a C language is a what? It's a case sensitive tool, right? Correct? Yes, guys. Yes. C language is case sensitive tool. Yeah. Yes. That's sir. why Unix also a case sensitive tool. Okay, that means commands in Unix you should write in you should write in small case only. You should not write in upper case. If you go to C language also same thing. Okay, so you have to write everything in the Small case letters. You might have learned C language when you are doing BSc, or BCA, or MCA, or MBA. Okay, C language was the basics of the time. Okay, so like that. So Windows, sorry, Unix. Unix is having Unix also. See Linux also. Unix purely Unix is there is no GUI for Unix. I guess right. Do we have GUI for Unix? No. Do we have GUI GUI guys for Unix? No, wrong. No. It is purely command line interface. Unix purely command line interface, but Linux they developed GUI in Linux. Okay, in Linux later Red Hat Linux there are 
solaris okay there are so many flavors has come okay and they are all open source tools okay so so linux is geo and cli both are there okay and linux is why linux is popular than windows is linux is more secure than windows linux operating system is more secure than windows windows why it is popular more user interface linux why it is popular more secure than windows okay so that's how it was okay uh now okay this is all okay now why i want to why we need to learn unix in when you are working as informatica developer why you want to learn unix anybody why you want to learn unix for informatica as a informatica developer with client desktop is easy because informatica is an okay. unix server in the real uh, work environment sorry informatica is an unix server yeah so why i want to learn unix why i want to learn why i want to learn unix when i want to work as a informatica developer number 1 there is a comment ask in informatica correct yeah mm -hmm. do we have comment ask yes, yes. guys yes, yes. and there is a comment ask in informatica okay that's why you can write unix commands or dos commands in comment ask that is one one thing that's why you need to learn in unix in informatica okay next informatica server will be installed under unix informatica is having two types of tools server tools client tools yes or no yes. correct yeah so client tools what are the client tools in informatica power center designer power center manager workflow manager or monitor four tools designer manager monitor repository manager always wherever you go informatica client tools will be installed under windows only informatica power center client tools will be installed under windows only but server informatica server will be installed under unix 70% of the projects they will install informatica server in unix 30% of the projects they might have installed in windows because why because secured because unix is secure that's why they have they will be installing or they have already installed informatica server in, under unix now how it is see this any operating system actually what is an operating system operating system is a software which will which interact with the hardware correct yes or no yes guys if you want yes, to say sir. the definition of operating system operating system is a software which will interact with the hardware suppose my mouse is i am i am i am what moving my mouse how my mouse is moving because of windows because of windows will be having device drivers you know the device drivers did you hear yes, do you know device drivers yes, most in windows in windows there will be device drivers okay these device drivers what it do it will interact with the monitor it will interact with the keyboard it will interact with the printer it will interact with the whatever the hardware tools we have keyboard mouse okay printer scanner okay these things it will interact these device drivers will interact with the okay these device drivers will be what this will be software that is under windows operating system device drivers will be there these device drivers will interact with the hardware and we can see the movement here or if you type in the if you type in the keyboard how the keys are how it is coming because internally a device driver is working and it is interacting with the keyboard and whatever it is pressing keyboard the device driver will give the interaction to where software the pin operating system and it will write it on the screen that's how it will work okay so operating system in operating system everything is a file everything is a file this device driver also a file okay if i open windows in in any operating system everything is directory and folder directory and file this folders are called directories under the under the directory sub directories will be there under the directory files will be there see it is application file this is a json file if i open this this is a mu file everything is a file correct guys so if you see this this is a shortcut file okay this is a word file this is a shortcut file this is xml file uh, excel file you can see the icons but it's a what it's a file ultimately correct yes please will you agree guys in operating system everything is a file will you agree or not yes sir yes everything no, is a yes, file sir. everything is a file okay so 
operating system contains a file system operating system contains a file system now in windows there are two types of file systems what are those in windows there fat are two types fat 32 fat 32 64 fat 32 fat 32 okay and in ntfs ntfs there are two types of file systems in in windows what are those fat 32 or fat or fat 32 okay one second please yeah so windows having two types of file system fat 32 or ntfs if you see i'll show you so if i go to d drive or my computer this pc right click on it properties are you seeing here file system ntfs like this you can change it to fat fat, fat 32 also okay that's the file system okay so what i am saying if your informatica server is installed under unix sorry windows then then what you can see this files in the windows itself correct which one this infra shared files are there no this infra shared files are there those you will be seeing in c please simple okay so informatica server first windows will see if informatica is is installed under windows what will happen there will be two types of tools right informatica server informatica client, client correct informatica client in real time you informatica server will never installed under in your system will will never installed will never installed in your system in your laptop or desktop where it will be installed somewhere mm -hmm. yes please okay in real time informatica server will never install in your laptop will never installed in your laptop where it will install maybe some other desktop or laptop they will install what they will give they will give the host name these things we know if you go here okay we will first configure the repository right we will yeah. configure the repository these things gateway host gateway host means what host name right the hmm. computer name what is the gateway host means what is gateway host means it's called a host name host name means what computer name yes or no please correct guys yes yes or no yes sir. i need the responses yes, okay so gateway host means what wherever the informatica server installed your team lead or your client will give gateway host gateway port gateway port they will give okay and also they will give domain name they will give domain name and also they will give repository repository name. repository name they will give username of the repository the password. they will give the password of the repository and they will give the folder name also these and all they will be giving to you are you clear yes sir yes please you will when you you will install when you go to the when you go to project you will install informatica client once you install informatica client what do you need to do you need to ask all these things once you connect to the informatica now if your informatica server is not installed in your laptop where the infra shared path will be infra shared path where it will be on that server on that server they will give the infra shared path to you infra shared dev path test path and production path they will give they will give the path like this they will give suppose in our system it is having like this right this is our infra shared folder path in our system maybe they will give like this slash slash like this they will give something they will give infra shared path you can take this infra shared path okay and you can open the windows anything any window you can open you can put it here and you can enter it will open if you have the access it will open are you clear please are you clear in real time what will happen when the informatica is installed under windows yes sir yes or no please guys yes or no are you clear guys yes sir yes please same way same way if it is installed under unix if it is installed under unix same installed under unix they will give the all these things again they will give all these things but infra shared path also will be under unix system they will give this kind of path what maybe root like this they will give root okay something root informatica server infra shared they may give like this okay 
like this they will give okay ultimately what they will ultimately what they will do is they will give the they will give the infra shared path to you okay now whenever when suppose if it is installed on windows to access the shared file path you no need to install any other software you can directly take it you can you can have run right you can have the run right run you can open run run okay here you can put it it will open directly correct yes please correct or not guys yes or no are you able to understand what i am saying yes yes sir yes yeah. sir so if they give the suppose informatica is installed under windows and the server is installed under some other system they will give what they will give a path of infra shared you can put it here either you can put here at the run otherwise you can open any window you open any window you can put here also then it will directly go to that path your infra shared path it will, it will be showing this will be showing but in unix when you go to the unix if you want to access this path access the unix path you require two types of tools what are those two types of tools putty and winscp to access infra shared path to access to access infra shared path okay when your informatica server installed under unix or linux unix or linux then you require two separate tools what are those putty and winscp people will call putty or putty also okay so putty you should you should install putty and winscp and you need to work on and you need to access the file system are you clear everybody please are you clear clear yes okay now yes, what you can do i will uninstall and i will install for you i'll uninstall and uninstall one second let me show you how to install also okay now suppose they told that your infra shared path is your infra shared path is in unix then what you need to do you need to open google open google okay here you you type it okay putty for windows windows 10 or windows whatever then the first one www.puttyarg open it download putty are you seeing here yes please it's a freeware it's a yes, open sir. download putty then here you can open this 64 bit You can click on this so that it will save it will download it download in the downloads and download download it after that double click on it and install it install next 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 finish that's it nothing is there just next 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 finish that's it done okay done next winscp one more is winscp winscp for windows so winscp.net open it then here download download direct download save it done then install this also double click install for all users or one user whatever accept next next install yes done yeah both are installed okay now you need to configure so you now what you have done you have installed putty and winscp putty is a command line interface winscp is a graphical user interface putty is a command line interface like this if you search putty it will open like this this is putty so this is putty they will give host name they will give port number they will give they will give username password and they will give the unix for infra shared profile path also next one is winscp winscp look like this winscp is look like this okay now in our system we did not install unix under we did not install informatica server under linux correct yes yes sir we installed under windows now mm -hmm. how to practice unix how can i practice unix to practice unix commands you no need to install unix you, you there is a website on the website you can practice how can you practice see please there is a video there is a step by step video i did i sent you in the group did you see that 
there is a step by step video did you see guys yes, i i i yes, sent it to group did you yes, see sir. that yeah yeah let me open it where is it this one okay how to practice so please like comment okay this one i'm sending you so this one so here i i told you like i told you how to what i have told you how to uh, how to install what is that putty and vnsp and how to configure it how to practice i i put a step by step process okay we just go through that and you can install but i'll show you now also okay so i sent you the link in the uh, chat also you please copy paste please like like and comment and subscribe okay now so what i can do see please there is a website called linuxzoo.net so you search for in google you search linux zoo enter are you seeing this linux zoo.net yes please yes sir open it once you open it okay it was like this i log off it will be like this once you open li linux zoo.net it will be open like this okay now what you need to do first you need to create an account in linux zoo.net what we are doing now we are we are trying to practice unix commands without installing unix without installing unix i want to practice unix commands how to do that we'll see now first you need to create an account in linux zoo.net how to create open are you seeing register for an account under login account links are you seeing register for an account please yeah click on it then click here then you can write any email id here not exist email id also raj b dot v at gmail dot com this gmail is not exist still i am writing it it will take it not a problem but you should remember that that's it i am giving admin password first name raj v okay and uh, select one just interested i accept what is this raj b dot v right dot v at gmail dot com register it's already given Sounds good. Why oh, it is not there? Email address does not have valid DNS address. What is this? At dot v at gmail dot com. Leave it. Okay. Wait a second, please. register for an account i'll do one thing i'll open another browser maybe it is taking the connections register for an account click here Hmm. Okay, maybe it is taking one morning. I created right. That's why it is taking like this. I guess. Um, morning. Or what I created. One second, please. Check in the notes, Raj. Hmm. Sorry. Notes. I did not give in actually. Okay. Give one second. Give one second. Raj, is it all in videos? Is there? Yes, it is there in the video. Yes. Uh, fine then. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, it is there. That's why I am giving video. No, all is there. Some problem. Can you create anybody and can you give me the uh, login ID? Can you create anybody now? 
just to this open live episode.net i'm sending you create user and send me anybody doing guys give any gmail id and let me know which one you are doing which one you are giving that's it password you give as admin anybody creating guys anybody creating please um, yes sir yeah for me it is showing the same thing same thing yes, yeah dns so it is at gmail.com you are saying rohit oh uh, yeah yes, yes. it yes, is given for yes. gmail no gmail only it is showing throwing error from okay, so you are unable to connect them Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Raj, I have created. Yeah, oh, ping good. me the ID password. Uh, create the ID. Okay. So give the ID password. Yahoo. dot com is given. Okay, good. Yeah, register for an app. Okay, log in, right? Just log in. Okay, log in. So it will be it will be uh for how many? It will be for thirteen days actually. okay it will be for 13 days after this join queue you click on join queue once you click on join queue then switch on this are all explained in that in, in that video you can go through that switch on once you switch on click on connect it should be it should be run yeah it should come from run now what you need to do is open your putty first open putty open putty in this host name what is the host name is are you seeing here linux.net host name is server name the server is linux.net linux.net click on open give linux.net click on open one second maybe it won't work on the system click on yes Yeah. Next. Yeah. Next. So please, please go on mute. Stop. Go on mute, Second. please. So, yeah. See, it last login as. Yeah. It is a. It is having login as. Okay. So, I given what I open this and I given host name as Linux zero dot net. Okay. The then the username password will be these things. Are you seeing username password? Yes, please, guys. Yes, sir. So take this root. Type it here. Root. root then secure when you are typing password the cursor will not move but still you type it and enter is it logged in logged in i'll i'll change this format go to right click on this change settings appearance change 18 yeah okay is it logged in yes please yes sir yes sir so i logged in to putty same way open winscp open winscp And log in here also, okay, like this. Post name, linuxu. dot net. Username root. Username root. Password is secure. Log in. Is it logged in? This right side box is Unix box. Now our server is linuxu. dot net. We are connecting to linuxu. dot us. dot linux do linuxu. dot net server. And this is our server. okay our our client is the pins this this is what windows this is window this is sorry unix right side box is unix box left side box is windows box see this is my windows right my documents okay desktop windows correct please yes or no yeah yes sir okay in real time also whatever the files installed under whatever the files are there in unix it will show here whatever the files are there in your desktop your windows it will show here okay so now we need to learn unix commands now we need to learn unix commands i given a document for unix commands i given a unix documents commands prepared by myself 
So just go through that Unix commands list. Okay. So few commands we should learn. So please understand. Okay, how it is. Okay. Now I am coming to I am coming to our putty. Okay. If you give clear, it will clear our screen. If you give clear, it will it will clear our screen. Okay. Now the first command you need to learn is the commands will be in small case only in small letters only. You should not give capital letters. I am giving PWD. Okay. So PWD means it's a command present working directory. Enter. You need to enter after command. After typing a command, you need to press enter. When you press enter, it is showing what root directory. Now I am in where? Actually, in Unix, in Unix, like Windows, like Windows having two types of file system. No, what are those NTFS and uh, PAD system? Same way, in Unix also, we are having three types of file, the three or four types of shells. There are many types of shells. These are called file systems. C shell, bash shell, corn shell, any shell we can use it. Okay. Different, different users will, will use different, different shells. Okay. So shell is not a problem. Shell is not a problem. Okay. Now here, if you see, if you log into Unix, it will be showing like this. Now, what you need to do now, you need to learn Unix commands to practice Unix commands. These are all the steps you need to do. And whatever it is there in the document, you please practice Unix commands. The first command is PWD. PWD means present working directory. It will show where I am in, which directory means folder. What is that? Directory means folder. PW means, PWD means present working directory. Present working directory. Okay, I am in root folder now, root directory. In Unix, it, they will call, they will not call us folder. They will call us directory. Next command. Next command is, if you want to create a directory, if you want to create a directory in Windows, what you will do? Right click. New folder. Correct, please. Is the directory? Yes, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How to create a directory in, in Unix? MKDIR. What is the command? MKDIR. MKDIR. Suppose my directory name is folder one. MKDIR, smaller capital, but the command should be in small case only. If you see, please, I'm giving MKDIR folder one. Enter. It is created. If you give in capital letters, It'll show error. Command not found. Bash, we are in bash shell. MKDIR, command not found. So similar command is MKDIR, it will show. So now I created a I created a folder one. How yeah, to see why is it breaking? Sorry? Yes, please. Your voice is breaking, guys. Come on, lines. Is my, is my voice is breaking, guys? No, no for us. No. 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 Yeah. no. Okay. So MKDIR. I will check my Yeah. MKDIR. So MKDIR is what? Okay. To create a directory. Once you create a directory, once you create a directory, how to see the directory, whether it is present or not? LS command. List. List the directories and files. LS. Are you seeing folder one? Are you seeing folder one, please? Yes. Yes, yes. If you want to give clear, it will clear. Then give LS. So it will show. So if you want to create one more folder, MKDIR, MKDIR space folder two. Enter, then give LS. It is okay. showing folder two now. If you want to create multiple folders, multiple directories, MKDIR, give the multiple directories. DIR one, DIR two, DIR three. MKDIR space DIR one, space DIR two, space DIR three. Enter. See please now LS. Fine. Is it created? DIR one two three. Yes, please. Guys, yes. did you understand? Did you understand how to create a directory in Unix? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if I create a directory in Windows, if I want to enter into directory, what I do? Sorry? Double click. Double click. Double click. It will go, it will enter into directory, correct? Same yes. way. If you want to enter into, so I created the directory. I want to enter into the directory. How to enter into directory? CD. CD means? Change directory, change directory. I want to enter into DR1, CD DR1, enter. It went to DR1, yes or no? Yes. Now, yes. if you see PWD, I am in root directory, DR1. Correct, please? Yes? yes. Yes or no? Same way. Now, I am in DR1. I want to come out of it. 
if i want to come out of it cd space dot dot cd space dot dot means come out of the directory one to root directory enter one step back now i am in where root directory if you want to enter into directory cd dir2 enter i am in where if you want to see where where you are in you are in root directory dir2 directory if you want to come out of it cd space dot dot then if you see it will be under root directory same way suppose i will go into dir1 in dir1 i will create one more directory inside dir1 i will create one more directory called cd dir10 okay sorry i will create one more directory mkdir dir10 10 okay now under dir1 i am in dir1 under dir1 there is dir10 i will enter into dir10 now okay i will enter into dir10 nothing is there if you see pwd where i am in i am in root directory inside this dir1 inside this dir10 i am i am there i will create one more call mkdir dir20 okay ls now i will enter into mk i will enter into dir20 then where i am in now i am in root directory Arif. under root directory dir1 under dir1 dir10 under dir20 okay now if i give cd space dot dot where i will come Uh, dir10 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 correct if i give cd dot dot cd space dir1 dir1 is it is cd space dot dot if you give just cd dot dot it will not work it will not work cd space dot yes, dot sir. okay now it will come it will come to dir1 yeah. if i it will come to dir1 yeah. okay yeah. suppose if i want to go to dir20 yeah. now i am in where now i am in where Root. 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 If I want to go to DR twenty, what should I do? Enter path. You can type. I want to go to DR one. CD enter path. DR ten. CD. I can do directly. CD slash. I can do directly like this. Root. CD DR one. CD DR one slash ten slash twenty. Now I am directly going there. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. if I want to come back, first I want to come back to DR ten. Next I want to come back to DR one. Instead of that. If you give cd slash, it will come directly to root directory. Enter, enter. Now see where are you? Root directory. Root directory. Yes. Cd space yes. dot dot means cd space dot dot means come one step back. Cd slash means come directly to the root wherever you are in, whichever directory you are in, it will directly come back to Main. root directory. Are you clear? Are you clear, please? Yes, yes guys. Yes, 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 sir. Yeah. So that is how. The MKDIR, and if you want to create a directory under DIR20, you can do like do like this. No need to enter there. MKDIR, you like this DIR1, DIR20. Okay, here you want to create DIR30. Like this, you can give. Okay, so it will create. There is already a directory one, ten, twenty are there. Inside direct twenty DIR30 will create. Are you clear, please? Are you clear? MKDIR. Yes, guys. Yes, sir. Did yes. you understand how to how to create a directory, how to enter into directory, how to come out of the directory? Did you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Okay. Now, how to now how many directories are there? This one. How to remove a directory? How to delete a directory? R M D I R. Remove directory. D I R two. Remove directory. D I R two. Remove. D I R two gone. R M D I R. D I R three. Go. Gone, please. So mm -hmm. create a directory, MKDIR directory name. To remove directory, RMDIR, but don't remove any directories in real time. Don't use RMDIR at all. Okay, yes. okay. Yes, sir. Raj, what is that? Anukunda. That is some file given by Linux. Dot net. File. Some file default file it has given by Linux. Dot net. We are connecting to Linux. Dot net server. No, they have given something. What is there? We will see. There is something, some something is there, okay? So we'll see. Anyways, so understood, please. What and all we have discussed: PWD, present working directory, MKDIR, create a directory, CD, change directory, come back to directory, CD slash, CD dot dot, CD slash means CD backslash means come to. Raj LS means root. LS means list directories. I'll tell you, please. 
So okay. these are all small only. These are not caps. All small okay. only. CD slash means come, <coughs> come to the room root directory. <coughs> root directory. LS means to see, to display the list of, LS means what? To display whether it is created or not. Under root directory, how many directories are there? How many files are there? That is called LS command. List command. LS means list the files and directories under this directory. Are you clear? I am in root directory. Under root directory, what are there actually? Give LS, it will show. Okay, okay, Raj. Clear? Yes. The next command is cal command. Cal command is a calendar command. If you give cal, it will show, it will display the current, it will display the current calendar, it will display the current month calendar with current date highlighted. Next, to the, next is date command. Date means it will show the current timestamp, date and timestamp of server, server date and timestamp. This linux.net, it's in BST time zone. Okay. It now the time is 4, 7, 27, 16, 7, 27 now there. So it will show the current server system date and timestamp. Okay. If you want to change the file, if you want to change the format of format of the, if you want to change the format of date, you can give like this. Date plus percentage D slash percentage M slash percentage Y. D means day, M means month, Y means year. Percentage D means it will give date slash M Y enter. It will give in that format. Okay. With the plus, we need to give it. That's called date command. That's called date command. Next, the most important command is create a file in Unix. We have seen create a folder, right? We have seen create a directory in, under Unix. Now you need to see create a file under Unix. How to create a file? In Windows, how to create a file? We'll open it a directory. Under this, what do you do? New. Right text, click new. New text document, whatever. Right click new folder. I take new, new folder file. or file, whatever. Same way. In Unix, we have a command called cat command. What is this? Cat. Cat means concatenation. But we will create, to create a file, we will use cat command. Cat greater than file name. My file name is file1.txt. Cat greater than file1.txt. Enter. It will ask you to write the file contents. Normally, what we will do in Windows? We will, what we will do? We will create a file first. Then double click on the file and then we'll write it, right? Then we'll write it in the file. Yes or no? Yes. Correct, please. Then we'll save it. Here, when you give cat greater than file1.txt, it'll ask, it'll ask you to write the contents there only. I'm writing the contents. Okay. This is my first Unix session. This is my first file. This is my first file in Unix. Okay. One second, let me connect this one. Yeah, this is my first file in Unix. Thank you. After that, you should press Control C. Control C means save and come out. Control C. Did it come out? Is it come out, please? Yes, guys. So what do you need to do? Now see. Yeah, let's. Is the file one.txt is created? Is file one.txt is created, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. So if you want to create one more file, cat greater than a dot a dot dat. Any extension you can give. Any extension you can give. Okay, cat greater than. See in 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 Unix, in Unix, not only in Unix, any operating system. Okay, file means a file with an extension, right? File will, should have an extension, correct? Yes. Correct. Same yes. like means in Unix, but these are all different files. Capital a dot txt is one file. Small a dot txt is a different file. So a dot a, a dot b, a, you can create any extension, any file you can create. So I am creating what? I am creating, close this. I am creating cat a dot a t. Okay. So, hello. Hi. Yes. So ls, now, now what? Which one it is? a dot d a t is created. a dot d a t. So to create a file, cat space file name. To create a file, what is the command, please? Cat greater than file name. Cat greater than new file name. Okay. Now, okay, I clear. If you want to see the file in Windows, how to see the file? If I want to see that file, what I'll do? Open the folder. 
double click on it. Same way, I want to see what is there in file one.txt. Cat space file name. Cat space C. And copy paste in put is very easy. Copy paste in put is very easy. How? I am writing cat. I want to copy file one.txt. Just select it, double click on it. When you double click on it, it will select. Then one right mouse click. Come here, one right mouse click. So what do you need to do? To copy paste in Unix cat, I am writing. I, I don't want to type file one.txt. I want to copy paste, double click, one double click. After that, right mouse click. It will see. Is it what we created? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Yeah, same way. Cat a.dat. Yes. yes, please. Cat space file name. Cat space file name will be cat space. If you want, if you if you use up arrow mark, it will show all the comments which we use today. Up arrow mark. If you see up arrow mark below the pause shift up up left right up and down arrow marks are there, right? When you click on up arrow marks, it will show all the files like this, all the commands we we have used. Uh, okay? Can you please show how to write uh, how to write on the file? How to cat write on the file. Than, cat greater than file name. What is the file name? Okay, uh, custard dot csv. Cat greater than custard dot csv. Okay, so ten Raj Bangalore. Okay, thousand then twenty Ram Chennai. 2000 something i'm writing enter then press control c control c so now ls is custard cs is created yes yes custard cs is created please yes yeah it is clear now if you if you want to see custard csv ls custard yes. csv custard csv sorry cat cat, cat custard CSV. enter is showing now see please whatever we created here Will it show in WinSCP also? Whatever we have created now, will it show in WinSCP or not? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Why it will show? Why? Why it will show? It, it, we created it, it, here. Yeah. Why it will create? Why it will show in WinSCP? It's a common server. Because some common server. Server is same, but two different tools. See, open WinSCP. Open WinSCP. Refresh. See, please, whatever there here, a.dat is there, okay? And cache.csv is there. Then file1.txt is there. Okay, next, folder1, one, folder2, dr1 is there. If you want to open it, just double click on it. Is it opening? Yes, please, as a file. It's okay. a GUI tool. What? Put is a command, command based tool. Okay, but WinSCP is a GUI tool. You can open it, file1.txt, like this, see, dr1. Under DR1, DR10 is there. Under DR10, DR20 is there. Under DR20, DR30 is there. If you want to come back, like this. Here. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Yes, please. If you want to create a folder here, right click on it. New directory. Directory name, new folder. Okay. Create it. Yes, please. Okay. So here it is easy. Okay, here it is easy. But Okay, in command, in, in putty, you need to write the commands. You need to write the commands. That's it. Are you clear, please? Yes. Everybody, are you clear, guys? Uh, yes, Raj, uh, hmm. for control C, it is uh, save and exit, right? Go Correct. Ahead. Save and exit. Yes. Yes, please. Are you clear, can, guys? Can, we, can, you, can you show moving the files from our computer to uh, WinSCP? I will tell you. I will tell you. Please wait. I'll tell you. Okay, guys, did you understand? Yes, sir. Any doubts, please? Yes, sir. Here. Yes. Hmm. Is for here. Hmm. I think we are not using uh, real time and get it then. It is uh, over at the file, right? It will? Oh, we will use VA editor. Okay. It will use a dangerous symbol, editor. right? Huh? Sorry? It's a... It is a, it is a da uh, dangerous symbol, right? Get it then? It is Maybe. over at the... Yeah, it will override the file. Yes, yes. But they will ask in the interview, you know, how to create a file. I will tell they you later. Touch command, right? Or... Touch command is to create an empty file. Yes. Next is that only. Next is that only. Okay. okay. To create a file, this is the one. Okay, touch is next, I will tell. Now, if I want to append the file, if I want to append the file, append okay. already a file is there. 
if i want to append the file cat greater than double greater than cat double greater than suppose i want to append a file called file1.txt append means what add the lines at the end of the file suppose i am writing like this control c now check ls cat file1.txt is showing yes please guys able to see yes sir yes guys that's how it will work so cat greater than file name is to create a file so it will replace the file you to say cat greater than one seven second wait yeah it will replace the contents of the file okay fine that's not a problem so this is about cat greater than file name means cat greater than file name means to create a file okay cat space file name means to see the file contents cat double greater than file name means it will okay what it will do append 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 to the file append to the file append to the file yeah yes okay one second please yeah okay now next command is touch command touch command is to create an empty file in unix to create an empty file in unix what is the touch touch space suppose i am writing i am writing abc dot txt enter it will come it will out it will come out so it will create an empty file see ls abc dot txt is created in real time yes as i said don't use cat greater than okay so use the touch command first use the touch command to create a file then you can use cat double greater than that file and you can write it okay so okay. use first touch command yes please yes yes yeah touch space abc.txt means it will create an empty file cat space abc.txt okay nothing is there in this in this file okay if i want to create any other files i am creating a a file b c d it will create four files the file name is a one more file name is b c d enter sorry touch command right touch a b c d enter okay now see is the four files is created a b c d to create an empty file touch command are you clear please how to create an empty file yeah. everybody are you clear yes please yeah. yes sir yeah so yes, yeah An empty file by using cat command option. Ah, sorry, come again. Sir, we can create an empty file by using cat command option. Ah, you can you you can create yes cat greater than a dot uh, a b dot txt. Enter and control C immediately. That's it. It will create an empty file. So better sir, use cat command. Sir, is it possible to show the um file if it has entered or not like uh, they have something called file watcher event and all that that we'll see later first we'll see about the commands first we'll see later sure. yeah. okay now thank you so this is how it will be now i want to remove a file i want to remove the file from our directory rm is a dangerous command okay so please be careful about rm command if i want to remove a file rm space i want to remove a a file rm space file name it last remove regular file empty file a yes click on y enter it will remove i have seen the people because of the rf rm command i have seen the people because of the rm command they lost their jobs okay how they have lost their jobs is i was working in hcl technologies in when when i was in 3 years experience means 2013 or 14 okay in bomanalli robert bosch building on sixth floor there was a hcl technologies okay in bangalore the time i was working as a uh, informatica developer in bangalore uh, my team was sitting in mumbai also few people sitting in bangalore and my management my manager team lead everybody were there in mumbai okay so i was working as a informatica developer in bangalore with me there are two unix developers also working in the same project two unix developers also working 
we three are sitting in that office, HCL office. Okay. So what happened? These two Unix developer developers they created some uh, okay some thirty to forty Unix shell scripts. They created. I don't know whether they took the backup or not. Whether they have created in dev test, I don't know. At the time, I don't know anything. Okay, about that. But somehow they have created it, and they are working fine. Okay. So now testers wanted to test their scripts, scripts, Unix scripts. Unix script means what? A program, Unix program. Okay. So it will be having lengthy code. It seems it will be having like five thousand to ten thousand lines of code. It is there. It seems I don't know exactly. I'm just guessing. Like that, there are twenty to thirty files are there. in unix file system so what these people has done they did not take the backup who unix developers has did not take the backup what happened they have unix developers they told to testing people to test their scripts one saturday on weekend they went to mumbai office these testers they were working from mumbai only they went to office somehow they given rm star they given rm star i think i i think they will they have given this or somehow they deleted all scripts by using some rm command they deleted every file under unix okay so immediately next day next monday these two people got removed from the or from the company itself hcl has removed directly they fired directly they did not give an expense letter also okay because they, there is a huge data loss okay because these three four months they have struggled okay and they they implemented these uh, shell scripts they removed them Okay, one guy, one tester was having in HCL itself. He is having five to six years experience. It seems they did not give him the experience letter. It seems immediately when the next day they 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 fired them. It seems okay later they given or not I don't know, but they told me that at the time they told that they did not they will not give the relieving and experience letter. It seems okay. So later then these Unix developers they travel to Mumbai. They were sitting in war room. War room means they will be sitting in the separate room. And they'll be working from day and night, working on day and night. They should they have finished in one and a half month it seems. So be careful if you want to delete a table, if you want to delete a file, if you want to delete a mapping workflow session, anything. Please take a backup. Please take a backup and then delete. Don't delete directly. Whether it is development, anyway, testing and production will not be having access to delete. But in development, we'll be having access. But still, you don't delete anything. Clear, please. Yes, guys. Yeah. Yes, sir. So be careful while you remove anything. Okay. So that's why I am not telling more more about RM command. So this is about RM command. Understood about RM command, please. Touch command, cat command, RM command. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, guys. Yes, yeah. sir. Next command. What is the next command? Next command is the LS command. The most important command is LS command. Okay, what is ls command? We'll see now. What is this ls command? We'll see. ls is to see the list of files and directories. Now, what I will do? Give me a second. I will copy my info share to here. Okay, I'll tell later, anyways. Just give me one second. To see the better, because we have files already. Hello, Raj. Yes. How to delete under uh, uh, directory files? How to delete RM DIR? It delete both files. That is the file. empty directory file, right? Empty directory only. RM hyphen R, I guess. RM hyphen R. So I'll tell you. Remove the directory, right? Yes. Yeah, RM hyphen R will delete. RM hyphen R files in it. Files and subjects. So better no need to learn this. Okay. So if you mm -hmm. delete RM hyphen R, finish done. Okay, everything will delete. Okay. So mm -hmm. okay. Now see please in real time also when you open, so they will give the file system info shared path. Okay. So info shared path you can put it here. The path you can put it here. It will go directly to info shared. Here it will be there. All these things will be there. Here it could have come here. Now see. Yes, is the info shared has come here? Yes, please. CD info shared. Yes, we have SRC files. 
go to src files ls these are all the files we have yes please yes guys yes, yes. so if you want to see any file cat space list.txt see here the file has come so like this if you want to see any other file clear ls okay cat space locations others.dat is it given yeah yes. so this is a content sir your screen is lagging a lot actually is the screen is lagging guys yes for me no, also no, no sir no 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 now for us no no okay let me know let me now know. it's fine yeah now it's fine okay one second please yeah okay so like that we can now we'll see about ls command okay i'll come out ls see any any in in unix any command is having a option options options means suppose if i want to see the file contents cat space file name right we have an option called cat hyphen b hyphen c this hyphen b is called an option okay see now if i want to see just if i give cat space abc dot cat space file one right there is file one no file one dot txt it is having like this cat space a dot dat okay like this now if I give cat space hyphen b a dot dat it will give the line numbers correct is it giving the line numbers cat hyphen b means it will give the line numbers for the lines suppose I will enter into info sheet I show you. cd src files now ls suppose i'll give cat hyphen b add us or small thing you can take it locations of this dot get is it giving the right numbers yes please guys is it giving the right numbers yes guys if you give just cat space file name it will not show the right numbers it will not show the right numbers okay like this it will be that is called cat hyphen same way for ls also for ls also we are having many options what are those the first option ls hyphen l ls hyphen l hyphen l means long format enter is it given in the long format so these are the permissions for a file so this is the username username which we logged in this is the size of the file size and then month date time okay and the file name that is called ls hyphen l long format if you give just ls it will show like this ls hyphen l means long format it will show ls hyphen l means long format now what is a hidden file in unix what is hidden file means what is hidden file guys address of a file sorry come again it will not show it will exist but it will not show but it will not show how to create a normally in unix any file start with a dot is a hidden file normally file name will be like this no a dot txt this is a normal file name if you give dot a dot txt this is a hidden file any file start with a dot is a hidden file see please i'll give touch touch dot abc dot file 10 or file 100 dot dat i'll give what i'm what I am creating a file called file hundred dot dat. Enter. Is it showing here? Is file hundred is showing? No. Is file hundred is showing? No, it is not showing. See. No, sir. No, it will not show. It is not. If you want to see that file also, then ls hyphen a. All files a means list all files including hidden files. Enter. Mm. Are you seeing here? Yes. File hundred dot dat. Whatever the dots are there, see dot bash logout, dot bash profile, dot tsh or sorry, dot lss. If you do just lc, the dot files it will not show at all. That is called a hidden file. So if you want to see the hidden files, ls hyphen a. Same way, you can club the options. ls hyphen l means long format, a means all the files. Long format, all the files, all files. That is called ls hyphen la. 
ls hyphen you can club the ls hyphen a means y the next command is ls hyphen capital r ls hyphen capital r ls hyphen capital r if you give see please it will show the all directories files and subdirectories the dir1 dir10 is there dir1020 under dir2030 under infostate these many folders under each folder under each directory these many files under root directory how many files are there how many directories all the directories and the files to show that is called recursive list what is that called recursive, recursive list the recursive list of the it will show the recursive list of the okay file. recursive list of a file that means directories and the files okay yes please mm -hmm. that is called ls hyphen next ls hyphen t Give me one second, please. Give me one second, please. I'm getting a call. okay so ls hyphen l long format next next command is ls hyphen t ls hyphen t means sort by date and time sort by date and time ls hyphen lt long format sort by time see please whatever we created it is showing down right when 16 18 it is showing up when you give ls hyphen lt it will come down see where is that what is the one we created ls hyphen lt what was The abc dot txt right? Where is abc dot txt? It is not there. Ls abc dot txt is there? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, ls hyphen lt. Now, base run time format. Base run time it will sort. If you give ls hyphen lrt, r means reverse format. Now this will come down. So infra shade was up. When you give r means ls hyphen r means list in reverse order. List in reverse order. ls hyphen l means long format a means all files capital r means recursive list hyphen t means sort based run time hyphen r means reverse order this ls is not required leave it okay that is how it will be are you clear please ls are you clear about ls ls are you clear yes guys yes raj suppose i will open i'll go to my infra shared folder Yeah, these many files are there. Now I want to see only see there is a in in Oracle we have percentage and underscore. Did you remember percentage and underscore wildcard characters? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. percentile yes. and uh, yes. yeah. underscore. Same way we have star here. Star means zero characters, one character or more characters. 
the pins like this. Suppose I want to see all the files starting with capital F. I want to see all the files starting with capital S. F. LS. F. Star. Enter. Is it given? File 1, file 2, file 3. If I want to see all the files starting with SRC. Okay. LS. SRC. Small SRC. Star. Is showing? All files starting with SRC. Yes or no, please? Yes. Yeah. Same way. I want to see all DAT files, dot DAT files, only dot files. What to do? Dot 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 Okay, same way. If you see ls star dot txt is given all txt files. Ls star dot csv is showing csv files like this. If I give ls star dot star. What will happen? All with the, all the files all the are the extensions. Wherever the, wherever the file is there, whatever, sorry, all the files which have a dot in any position. All the files which is having a dot in any position. Correct, please? That means all the files which are having extensions. That's about ls command. Next command is wc command. Word count. What is wc? Word, Word count. count. Now, I am giving wc file one dot dat. What is showing? It will show the number of lines, number of words, number of characters. See, please. I'm opening cat file one dot dat. This is having three lines. One, two, three. One line, second line, third line. And it is having six, six words. If you calculate the words with space, six words and 144 characters. Suppose I'll give WC RS SRC dot CSC. It is having 106 lines, 211 characters, 211 words, 4864 characters. WC, employee is dot txt. It is having 108, 108, 108 what? 108 lines, 315 characters, 10488, 10488 characters. 108 lines, 315 words, 10488 characters. Like this WC. If you give WC for two files, WC space, I am giving file one dot dat space space employees dot txt like this. I am giving enter. These two separately file one dot dat is having three lines six words one forty four employee dot txt is having these many things total one eleven three twenty one one zero six three two like this. That is called wc. Did you understand what is wc? Yes. Word count. wc is having three options. Number one wc hyphen lines. L, L hyphen L means it will show number of lines in the file. WC hyphen W means it will show number of words in a oh. file. WC hyphen C means number of characters. Are you clear? If I want to see only number of lines, hyphen L, only number of words, hyphen W, only number of characters, hyphen C. Are you clear, please? WC? Yes, guys. Did you understand WC, please? Yes, please. Guys, yes, did you understand yes, WC? Next. Yes, right. next command is who. Yes, who means next command is first command is who am I? Who am I? Means a single word. Displays the username of currently logged in user. We logged in as root and secure. We logged into Unix with root username, password secure, correct? Yep. Means my username is root. So, if you want to see the username of you who are logged in, that is called who am I. Who means display all the users who are currently logged into this server. Display all the users. In real time, it may display more, more things. Okay. Display all the users who are currently logged in. Okay. That is about this. Who and who am I. Okay. Next one is WC. Okay. Okay. Now, the most important command is copy command. In Windows, how to copy a file? Right click, copy, right click, paste. Right click, paste. Correct? Or control C, control V. Correct? Same way. In Unix, we have a CP command. What is that? Copy command. Okay, copy. What is that? Copy command. Okay, one second. Yeah. 
Now I want to copy file one dot txt to file hundred dot txt. What to do? Cp old file name and new file name. Both file will exist. File hundred is not exist. Whatever there in the file one, I am giving to file hundred dot txt. Enter. Ls. See please file hundred is created. Whatever there in the file one dot txt. Same thing will be there in the file hundred dot txt. Correct please. Yes or no? Yes. That means for both files will be exist. File one is already exist. Suppose I have a I have a abc dot txt. I want to copy that to def dot txt. Cp abc dot txt to to what abc dot txt to tf dot txt. Whatever the name. Enter. Now both will be there. Is it created df dot txt? Yes, please. That means the data will be in the both the files. Right? Both the files. Whatever the data in the file, it will copy. Yes, that's what right. Whatever the data here, the same thing will be copied here. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Clear. That's about. That's about copy command. Now suppose there is a file in where. Okay, I'll clear. There is a file where. Yeah. Cast dot csv is there in root directory. I want to copy this file to folder two. How to do cp? How to do cp? Dot csv. Stuck one second, please. This. Let's wait for one second. I'll close and open again. I don't want to waste time. Okay. Root. Sorry, Linux zoo dot net. Linux zoo dot net. Open. Okay, maybe the server is busy. That's why. I closed it. Oh. Yeah. Refresh. Join queue. Switch on. Okay. Now it will connect. Is the correct spelling Linux Zoo dot net open? Yeah, it's opening. Root secure. Done. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So yes. Now I want to copy file one dot txt to mm, folder two. What to do? Cp file one dot txt to where folder two. Under folder two, you should have a file name, right? File the same file if you want to copy. The same file it will go. File one dot txt. Enter. Now there is a file one dot txt in root directory. Also, if you enter folder two, there also it will be there. Ls is it there? Yes, please. Yeah. Correct, guys. So yes. suppose, see please. Suppose I'll come to our info info shared folder. What is the path? Yes, sir. See files right. This is my info shared for folder path. Okay. This is my Info shared folder path. Now, I want to I want to copy this cache dot csv now a dot dat to info shared folder cp a dot dat to where root info shared under this what is the file name same file or a d dot dat if you want enter so it will copy a dot dat now now you can see here if you want you can see here. Ad dot dat is there. Is it created under under root info shared src files? It will be there in this directory and that that directory also. That's how you need to copy. Sir, Are can you show that again, please, sir? The copy. Cp what we want to do? Suppose I want to copy abc dot txt to cp abc dot txt. Where you want to copy this? I want to copy to root info shared src files. This is my info shared src files. This is my path. Under this, what is the file name? You want the same file name? Give the same file name, or just enter. If you enter, 
it will directly go the file name. No need to enter the file name. If it is same file name, abc.txt should have created. See this. Is it created or not? No, it is not created. Created. Ah, created. Like this. If you want to give a different name, you can give a different name. Suppose def.txt. abc.txt should have created to df.txt. Enter. Now check. df.txt is created here. Could have come here. Yes, it's there. Here. Yes, sir, it's there. Here it is. Okay, like this. Okay. Like this, you can copy. Did you understand copy, please? Copy comment? Yes. Did you understand copy comment, please? Yes, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll put it here. Sir, did you show the move command also? Next is there. No, that one. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, this is CP command. Okay, CP space abit.txt like this or small only. Yeah, next command rename command. Rename means what? How to rename in Windows? How to right. rename? You can you can click on it. Rename this one a dot a like this, right? Same way we have mv command, move command. Mv. I want to, I want to change my abc.txt to abc.txt to file 20 mv abc.txt file 20 dot txt enter abc.txt gone is it re is it renamed to file 20 yeah yes please that's called rename so i want to rename df.txt to some a dot a dot a a b okay mv df.txt space a b enter so it's df.txt is renamed to a b Clear, please. Yes, MV command, are you clear? Rename? Yes or no, guys? Yes. Next command, same MV command. If I want to cut this a.txt, if I want to put on desktop, what I'll do? First, I'll come here. I will cut Control X and I'll put it here, correct? Mm -hmm. Cut means what? Cut paste means what? What is cut paste means, please? You are moving it from one place yes. to the other. Moving from? Moving a file from one um, location to another location, not copying, moving the file. Mm -hmm. Suppose yeah. I want to move AB file to folder two. What to do? MV AB to file 20 folder two. MV AB is a file name. Folder two is a another name. folder. Now see in this folder AB is there. Yes. Just AB, just AB is there. No. no, no. Go to folder two. It will be there here. Is it here, AB? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here. Suppose, suppose see, I have a file called file twenty here. I want to move this to my infrastructure SRC files. MV file twenty dot txt to where SRC files. This is my path for infrastructure SRC files. MV move this file twenty to infrastructure SRC files. Enter. Now check file 20 is exist here. Mm -hmm. no. no. Go to infrastructure. Source files. LS. You can see here file 20.txt. Yes, please. Hmm? Yes. Did you understand MV, please? Yes. Yes. Guys, did you understand MV? Everybody? Yes. Yes. Any sir. doubts, please? Any doubts in MV? No. Guys, any doubts in MV, please? No, sir. As not no. in MV, uh, but I want to know just uh, uh, how the files copy from that source file to here, like uh, how you drag that one. I, I didn't get Where it. Drag? Where? Where? No, info shared, info shared source files, it was there, no? No, you no. just here, you come here. Okay, first you open yeah, VNACP. Open VNACP. Okay. okay. So mm -hmm. when you open VNACP, it will be like this, under root directory. Now come here, you go to your D drive, D drive, okay, under D drive, where it is, suppose you are in my documents, you go to D drive, under mm -hmm. D drive, okay, it will be like this, it will show, then Informatica, then mm -hmm. server, InfoShed, or go back, just server, copy, drag this to here, that's it. Okay, drag, just drag and drop. Drag and drop, that's it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Clear, please, then you can double click on InfoShed, 
it will show you all yeah. the all the files whatever there in your system it will come to unix that will become so it, it just copied right sir not remove, just copied uh, it. we yeah. moved from windows to unix if you want to move from unix to windows you can drag back same suppose, thing this suppose way. i am in where i i have created just like this right under root i created a file under that txt if i want to go if i want to move to desktop so just move this file under to here that's mm -hmm. it it could have come file under here somewhere here it will be here here we have one second please let me put here mm. Uh, so it's come? not removing from the original uh, it's copy copy just copy it? okay it's copy okay yeah. did you understand guys mv so what and all we have discussed we have discussed pwd present directory directory mkdir create a directory rmdir to remove the directory cd change the directory and create a file cat greater than file name create an empty file touch file name and list ls list file ls hyphen l r t a and w and we have seen who am i who wc word count then cp copy the files mv move the files and rm remove the file so enough for today for unix then we'll go to informatica sir, can you show me once uh, word counts sir i didn't uh, wc suppose i want to see i'll give ff locations you get a dat enter it is showing four words Sorry, four lines, fourteen words, two forty-five characters. WC store dot CSV. Enter three lines, three words, eighty-nine characters. If you want to see cat dash store dot CSV, correct? WC yeah. is the command. WC is the command. Word count. WC is the command. WC space file name. Okay, thank you. Raj, uh, touch means we can create empty file. Right? Correct. Yes. What is cat? It'll create a new file with is the it? contents. Ha uh ha. -huh, okay. With contents. Okay. Mv can show it. Mv. Mv to move the file. Ls. Suppose I want to move the salaries. Txt file to root directory. Mv salaries. Txt to where root directory slash root. Enter. Now check. Is salaries. Txt is there here? No. Now go to your root directory. How to go to root directory? Cd slash. Now check. Is salaries. Txt is here? Yes, please. Yes, yes. Suppose I want to move back. Now again, move salaries. Txt to info shared source files. Take the path. This is the path. Mv salaries. Txt space root info shared SRC files. Now here it gone. It'll go to there. That is called Mv. And one more thing is rename. I want to rename cash. Txt to c. Txt. Mv. I want to read it. Ct. Csv. Otherwise, ct. Csv. Okay, comma s comma. Yeah, ct. Ct. Comma csv. Like that. Okay. Understood, guys. Yes, sir. Clear, please. Guys, are you clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. Okay. Hmm. Uh, after uh, after creating the uh, after creating the what it is uh, file, uh, file. Right. Uh, uh, so file how to add the content uh, in that means cat double greater than cat double okay. that double greater than file okay, okay. Yeah. okay we have v editor also i'll say later. Huh. now we'll go to 